What's up? What's up, everyone? We back with another one. Let's get it. I hope you enjoy. And make sure to like so and subscribe and share with your family and friends. Alex Murdaugh in prison in his cell have now leaked to the internet, which has the internet wondering, is Alex Murdaugh starting an OnlyFans? No, he's not starting an OnlyFans, but they do want to know, why does he got his shirt off so much and he looks so hot and sweaty? Is there air conditioning in South Carolina prisons? Well, I've spent 10 years in South Carolina prisons myself, and I can tell you, especially in the summertime, yeah, there's AC, but it's very easy for the power to get knocked out. We've had a lot of thunderstorms lately. I would imagine the power got knocked out, which knocks the AC out. And I can tell you, once that happens, the staff is in no rush to get it turned back on. It can take days, maybe a week. Number two, they want to know what is this thing right here in the corner. They're like, what is he, what has he got going on there? There's all types of wild theories and guesses as to what this is. Comment down below if you heard about Alex Murdoff and his story about what he did to his son and his wife. I can tell you exactly what that is. It's not that hard. He's taken a piece of paper or a, or a sheet from a magazine, it looks like. He's rolled it into a cone. You take the label, the sticky label, off of a shampoo or deodorant uh, and use it as tape to hold the cone together. Then you fashion the small end of that cone to fit snugly around your headphone earbud. And it's just a way of creating a, a, a rigged up speaker a makeshift speaker and in those small echoey cement concrete rooms it actually does a pretty good job and you can jam out in there let me know in the comments what kind of music you think alex is playing in his speakers if you believe your dad's innocent your mom and your brother's killer is out there somewhere that's what i believe would he get someone else to do it no ma'am I don't think that he could be affiliated with endangering my mother and brother. I mean, that's, I mean, we've been here for a while now and that's been my stance. So who did it, you guys? Good old Canadian weather. Every winter is like that, man. Canada, that's where I'm from right now. We've been, we have been having some crazy winter storms, but not recently, like back back in the day. It's only snowed like twice or three times this month. Like, look at that, guys. What is that? His arms don't look natural. It looks like he has another friend in the back over there, too. Why does, does the moon look fake to you guys? If you're a new subscriber, comment down below where you're from. I want to know.
is this guy? This guy's next to a pyramid. was harmed by black magic. This is a video about a sorcerer in Indonesia. She was rescuing another woman who had a spell on her body, according to the woman's family. Recently, for some unknown reason, their mother had unusual pain. They took her to the hospital but the doctors could not determine what the disease was. Because they suspected that someone had used black magic to harm her, they invited a famous sorcerer in the area to come. They were shocked to see these mysteries. After reciting some spells, the sorcerer They're fighting so hard with it to get it out this person's mouth. Like what could it be? What are they fighting with? Took out some hair like things and something from the woman's mouth. According to the sorcerer, their mother was cursed with black magic by a long lost method. The sorcerer also said that fortunately they came to find her in time, if delay could affect the woman's life. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> Spam that chat down below. We're talking harp today? I understand why people would get all nuts about this project. It stands for High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program. It's a U.S. government funded project. It was built in 1993. There's a joint venture to create this area between the United States Air Force, United States Navy, DARPA, and uh, University of Alaska Fairbanks. People say it can control the weather. People say that it can be used for like mind control. The president of Venezuela, he blamed the earthquake in Haiti. He blamed uh, HARP for that. Uh, they can make flights crash or disappear and it allegedly can set the atmosphere like on fire. They're basically the science fiction arm of the Department of Defense. Yeah, I've been saying it, allegedly. Comment down below if you know about HARP too. HARP in Miami. Whoa, that's a big factory. Bro, it's been like this all morning. It's 10 o'clock right now, and I can't even sun gaze, bro. Why look at these dark clouds. That look like Africa. These Why do you guys think they're trying to block out the sun so much? These are not just poofy clouds. Look, you got dark clouds here full of toxins and metals and iodine. Cloud seeding is the most common type of weather modification. Today, it's mostly used to increase rain and snowfall, reduce the size of hail. Cloud seeding has been done from the air. So air, airplanes have had racks on them where these same flares are positioned on the airplane and the airplane flies into the storm. So in order to reduce the cost of the client and reduce our carbon footprint, uh, we've been able to station these on the ground. Now we can do this in places where weather permits. You see these, look how they just stick in the air like a painting. This is like a painting. Look at the sun trying to get through, and it can't because look, they create these clouds because they know that we get stronger. We need these vitamins. The sun gives off natural information so we could thrive without the government. It's time to set off the flare. The primary seeding agent in this is silver iodide. Silver iodide is a simple compound. It's polar in nature like water, so there's chemical properties that help attract water molecules to silver iodide. It's also structured molecularly similar to ice. 
So it helps generate or helps spawn the generation of ice buildup and then that becomes a hailstone or a snowflake that falls here primarily as rain. Oh, and it's to make us sick, but we gotta come outside and meditate. See that sun coming around? When I talk about the sun, it wants to come around. Come outside and sweat. Let your body get some of these vitamins, man. Do you guys meditate? How often? Let me know, spend the chat if you guys meditate. I try to once in a while. It's good to meditate, you guys. So if you guys have time, Take time for yourself and your wealth and your health. Meditate, baby. Let's get it. This woman had to fight for her life and her kids as well after being visited by evil spirits. Watch. Oh my God, guys. Oh my God. I'm sorry, but you can tell who her favorite child is because she had him on her arm before she left the room, and now the door is locked. <laughs> Little bro, you beating down the door. You better go stay with dad from now on. <laughs> Now, this is the same family from the first video I showed you guys. If you look, you can see that something's trying to grab her shirt while she's running away. Watch the video again. I feel so bad for them. Let me know in the comment section what you guys would do if something like this ever came to your house. And of course, follow me for more types of these videos. Happy Spooky Month! What do you guys think? I'm going to show you guys three or four videos of the best video evidence of the existence of shadow people or shadow figures. A lot of people have seen these bizarre entities, featureless, dark, shadowy humanoid figures inside their rooms or homes, and no one knows exactly why they show up. This is the first video. Check this out. Anyways, I'm here because I'm uh, videotaping because I keep hearing some crazy shit coming from my basement. Um, like pounding uh stuff being moved through you, you hear it? so anyways i'm just going you hear it? it sounded like someone walking up down the steps but anyways i'm going down and i'm decided to videotape it to have proof for my wife she doesn't believe me all right here we go hello i know i hear you down here i know i heard you Sound like a dog. Holy fuck! Oh my dude! What was that though? I just saw holy shit man! Holy fuck! Holy fuck, dude, I swear to gosh. I just heard it holy shit. In this second video, a security guard captured a very clear evidence of such thing in a hallway. <laughs> In this third video, a man is sensing strange things in his apartment and he decided to record it and, well, he captured it on camera. Check this I'm out. I'm walking down. It's serious. I don't look at it. It's being serious. Though. I don't look at it. It will just, just do itself. So. Yeah. You see tons of stuff in these older buildings. Tons. You see shadow people, sir. Crazy. Like a big ghost hunter type person. I think I just saw a pass my first. In this fourth video, another security guard captured a shadow person on camera. <laughs> Thank you.
If you came here to kill me, clap your hands. Well, that wasn't clapping your hands. That was more like just. Oh, okay, I'm so. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my fan is on. That's why you see it blowing. But what the hell is that? Why is it blinking like that? And it's pushing it. Yeah. And that looks like a fan. There's nobody behind there. Are you serious, you guys? How is there a curtain moving? Looking like a whole body behind there. When you go behind there, nobody's behind there. We're like, I'm running out the house so quick. No, he isn't here. He's gone, Molly. What are you looking at? Grandpa, can you hear me? Yeah. Oh my God. Surviving P. Titty, episode one, Usher. Watch these clips. If day one, we used to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause, but like, check this out. I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother, we used to fight over the, over the Frosted Flakes, you know what I'm saying, before pause was invented. You know what I'm saying? But it's my brother for real. We used to actually wrestle off of the, off of the Frosted Flakes because he used to always get up early and now he's the richest star in the world. And I'm Yo, like, what, what the, the fuck did Puff just say? Nobody's gonna acknowledge this with me. Puff just said we used to wrestle over the Frosted Flakes. And we're streaming live. That was stupid. With Sean Puffy Combs for a year. That's the crazy thing. Now, that yeah. was L.A. Reid's idea, right? We're sending New you York over to City. something called Puffy Flavor Camp. There you go. To learn <laughs> Flavor some... Camp. Yeah, Flavor Camp. Yeah, that's what it was called. And you're going to go to Puff Daddy's. He's gonna In the 90s. Do you understand what that's like? His place was like just filled with chicks and orging like nonstop, right? No, nah, not really. I Come mean, on. but did I, hey, it was curious. I got a chance to see some things. You I went it. there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and I saw it. And it, and it, and it was... <laughs> But I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. It was it was pretty wild. Was, so nobody tried to, you know, some woman didn't come along. I didn't say that. Okay. I, I didn't say that. Didn't, <laughs> what I did say is that there were very curious things taking place. Uh huh. And I didn't necessarily understand. It. Uh huh. You know what I mean? Does he have you doing any chores? Are you doing dishes at all? I mean, to keep you humble somewhat, or are you just like, can you stay up till four in the morning with them and party? I mean, I could. I yeah. actually stayed up longer than them. And you're the youngest. Doing what? Well, we, we definitely um, received substantial evidence that he was involved in trafficking young women and children to the Virgin Islands for um, a very long period of time through our airport, through his private jet. And then he would, by helicopter or sometimes boat, would then transport them over to Little St. James. And that's where he has his complex where he lives, which is his official residence as well. And that these young girls and women were subject to uh, sexual assault, sexual exploitation um, through coercion, false imprisonment, um, where the passports at some points were taken away. The actions were just reprehensible. And, um, and it was quite a number of women, and we, we found through our investigation that at least up to 2018, that continued. So what your investigation is showing is the broad scope of Jeffrey Epstein's nefarious activities, that it just kept going. Based on the evidence that we found thus far. Let me make something very clear. Jeffrey Epstein was very good at protecting himself and being secret. You know, the secrecy was, he was very good at that. And because of his wealth, his power, he was able to do that and secure that. So when you think about it, he owns a private island. That's an island over a mile away from St. Thomas, the main island. And it's out there and it's isolated. He purchases that, right? Then he owns the jet that flew in to the airport. It's under a name of one of the 
front companies that actually has been named in our complaint, but it's him. He's the member of that LLC. And he owns the helicopter and the boats that took or transported him and the women and children over to the island. So when you think about that, it's him orchestrating all of that. Yes, there may have been baggage handlers, there may have been other persons who looked and saw him and other females with young girls. Yes, but I, I think that it's important that we focus on how Jeffrey Epstein was so able to create such an elaborate scheme, especially by doing it in such um, secrecy, and he had the money and power to create the secrecy so that not just local authorities, but we have federal authorities here, too, that, um, that, you know, that are here all along. Not even they might have been able to see it. In looking at that, you, you have to really, you know, get a good understanding of how he was able to protect and isolate himself. Once a terrible you get on man. that island... How do you get off? It's not like a person who's on the island can just... Wow, yo, I just thought about that. If you're on that island, how are you getting off? If you're a little kid that's being kidnapped, you're going to swim all the way back to shore? There's no way of getting home. Bro, I just... This guy is a manipulative, evil person. I just, that just clicked right there with me, guys. Take, you think about that one right there. She Say, just okay, I'm going to swim to St. Thomas. They can't do that. Um, it's not like a, a person who's there and needs help that they can um, sneak away and run outside and flag down a vehicle or flag he down a police car or people. run to the nearest police station like they might Allegedly. be able to do on St. Thomas, on the main island. The island is isolated. So that kind of isolation... Is, is really how you have what you have to look at when you start to think, how could this have happened for so long? I, I think the picture you paint is a terrifying one, a terrifying one of isolation, mm -hmm. um, but also abuse of power. And I just wonder why the people who worked for Jeffrey Epstein weren't terrified for the girls going over there. They knew how isolated that island was. They knew the ages of those girls. They yeah. saw powerful men there. Why weren't they terrified? Why didn't they become whistleblowers? Well, one thing I do know, first of all, is that there are um, the non-disclosure agreements that Jeffrey Epstein had all of the employees, if not most of them, NDAs, sign, guys, and they NDAs. had to agree not to disclose any information to law enforcement or anyone else um, for you know to you know regarding what goes on on that island. And um, and even after Jeffrey Epstein's death, those non-disclosure agreements are still in place and still enforced by the estate. Um, so so this was just one of the ways that you can pretty much intimidate or silence people. But in addition to that, when you see someone connected with powerful people who may visit the island or he may be involved with, whether it's not, whether it doesn't have to be here, it could be anywhere in the world. And it's known that these powerful people are his friends and associates. That alone is intimidating to the ordinary citizen who's sitting there and watching this and say, ooh, that does not look good. But could you imagine the reluctance of that person to say, I'm going to come forward, I'm going to tell on that person who's friends with all these powerful people? So that alone, the way that he surrounded himself with these powerful makes people. Makes so much sense, guys. Makes so much sense. That was a, 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 an example of the kind of intimidation. And if you're here this far, make sure you comment below, like, subscribe, and share with your family and friends. That would cause, a certain, cause what you're saying, people to be silent about what they may see or suspect. As far as the Virgin Islands is concerned, we, I, we need to make sure that the Virgin Islands is not, is not and is not perceived as a haven for this kind of sexual exploitation, human trafficking, and, and sexual and child abuse. It's, it's, we have to make that clear. Um, it is very important that we enforce our laws against human trafficking, against child abuse, against ch um, child and, and, and sexual exploitation of women. It is important that we do that because if I don't do it as the attorney general, 
the top law enforcement person, if we do not do it in the Virgin Islands, then those types of crimes will continue to flourish. It's all right. Serbian dancing lady, have you guys not heard about this one? Fake guys. Now, if you guys watch this video closely, you look like some guys just found some spirit or a witch on the street at night. But the reality could be totally different than that. Maybe this girl who's walking home alone got scared and trying to protect herself from these guys. So she's acting like a spirit or a witch, so they just run away. This video is apparently from India. If any Indian in my follower know something about it, please write in comment. I don't know what she's doing there. This is literally pure white now. So I'm gonna take a dump right there. This is the place where evil, evil things went down. In this temple right here, there used to be a giant sun compass that was removed apparently. There's a bonfire right here. Maybe where they burn people alive or not. I've gotten up here successfully undetected. There's no, what is that? There's like a speaker right there. But beyond that, it seems to be low level security right now. It's on the island, guys. There's a sailboat guys. coming in. Right Jeff. there. Has Jeff Zion. Right now it's a race against time. Hopefully I don't get to jail. Horrid things went down here. Look at all these benches. Very out of place benches, right? You have benches right here. Bench right there. Bench right there. Bench right there. Look at that. This makes no sense. I'm gonna go back down. See if we can examine the estate. This time I might just have to go blitzkrieg. Now I just need to rot. My pants are nearly falling off. Looks like an unfinished construction pathway. I see what's inside. I don't know where all the security went. But yet to remain detected. It might be on their lunch break. Boozing out right now. Yeah, just can't breathe. I'm behind this rock. I'm behind this giant. Oh my god. I don't like that rock. There appears to be. Oh my god. I don't know who this is. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. As I ran away from security, I saw this. Well, that's it. Thank you for watching. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I post. And make sure you subscribe. I post every day. Thank you, guys. Hope you guys enjoy.